Yo, Internet, what's happening? Welcome back. And uh, we're back on F-150 Coyote Swap Things. And I'm going to talk to you about the swap harness I just completed and the fan wiring that I also have figured out more or less. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now you may recognize this little uh, coil of wires from our last video held by chip clips. And a lot of this stuff is coiled up because the mass airflow and the accelerator panel harness branch outs are pretty long. AC, I even have the select shift wires broken out so that we can wire, um, you know, tow haul mode uh, is in this wire from the transmission harness and the select shift that came in the 2011 to 14 F-150s. So pretty standard stuff here, you know, we got our inline connectors, our proprietary now 70 pin, the Mustangs use a 50 pin body connector uh, to the um, Coyote computer, which is also a 70 pin connector as well. I think I actually enjoyed building this harness more than the Mustang, so that's uh, not really anything to consider for if you guys are in this project, but just a little tidbit I'll share. And if you guys are privy to any of the, the Mustang stuff, remember there's certain years, like the 05 and 06s, you have to splice some things. Well, in this one, in the trucks, you're going to have a few splices, but you know, imagine doing all this hard wearing yourself on the truck. So I'll try and explain here in this video what all that's going to have to be done on your end as far as splicing wires. So you'll notice this big yellow Johnny. This is the starter feed to the far starter solenoid. Obviously, it's not a big, big gauge wire. It's just the, the trigger for the starter. That's the output from the starter relay on the truck. Now, there is a, a one pin connector on the truck that I just can't source. Uh, no one can come up with a, a good answer for me. So you'll have to splice that in. I will include... Um, directions on that as soon as it's fully released. And then of course I mentioned the tow haul mode. That switch is uh, all you need to do is give that wire 12 volts and then the, uh, this goes back to the PCM or the transmission harness which ends up back to the PCM and that'll tell the PCM hey I'm ready to do this in tow haul mode let's party. And then of course you have the select shift which is on all the F11 to 14 and all, probably all 11 and up um, trucks to be honest and yes the same colors as the ac switch i was just messing with but you got your shift plus shift minus and then there's a signal return because it doesn't use 12 volt system per se like the tool hall mode it uses more of the 5 volt or resisting system i believe it sends the 5 volts out to here and then whatever resistance in the switch is it gets brought back to there and then the computer knows which uh, to go up or down Mustangs use the same wiring, so a lot of people that have been doing the automatics in the S187s have also requested those to be broken out so they can have that option on their car as well. So that's the quick and dirty version of uh, the first prototype Coyote Swap Harness for the 08 F, 04 to 08 F-150s. Now, you know, this little mess I got going on, you might have remembered in our reel, I was talking about three relays and got two trigger wires and all that and how it works. As of right now, I have this wired up exactly like the OEM wiring diagram book or wherever you're looking at it has, or the OEM, the trucks, this is how it's wired up. I've wired up so this, this fan here is actually considered low speed. It's getting its ground um, fed through this relay. So this relay is hooked up to this side that's always connected and that's going to the positive side of this motor and then it's getting its ground through there in low speed operation. Then in high speed some things happen. We switch the ground to get full ground it's as the other active side. Once this relay middle relay is triggered which is also triggered to the high speed relay. You can see even two sharing those two white wires. That's my high speed trigger wires. Then it gives it full ground for that motor and the high speed relay gives power to that. Here's the problem. On our video my low speed operation, that's our high speed trigger wire. Now let's pretend that the computer just wants low speed. I'm gonna ground this wire out and get nothing. Oh, there we go. Low speed operation. Perfect. Now let's do high speed. Still only getting one fan. So, Kind of a problem. I'm not sure. I asked, uh, put some feelers out there. Like, do the F-150 trigger both high and low speed when they want high, or is that like high only when it wants AC but no cooling? 
or does it trigger both when it has super high? But let's tie them both together. Small the air. So you kind of see my dilemma here. Um, it's wired as, as factory F-150 is, but I'm not sure or privy to how the computer grounds those wires. If it is that they ground both the high and low speed for high speed operation, and they separate just one high speed fan for like AC, that's great. But I literally stumbled on a diagram today looking for um, a little better solution relay than that. Uh, it's, I'm probably gonna use that for a little while in the first harnesses, but I'm gonna make it a lot cleaner than that. But let me show you the diagrams I found literally by accident and what will actually solve this in case someone decides to flash a Mustang strategy that I know uses two triggers and never together. So that's the F-150 diagram. That's how it's wired up right now. But over here, I found this diagram on a relay brochure, we'll say. And the difference is, oh, look at this little pointer, is that they have direct battery going to that low speed motor and then its trigger or its grounds are actually tied, to, we'll call this the other, the media, mediator um, reel or relay. And then as it's low speed relay, instead of ha having this hooked up to the power side, it's hooked up to the ground. And then that's hooked up uh, to the positive side of the motor indirectly through the always connected side of the high speed relay. And then that's how the, both of these are gonna spin lower in low speed operation when the low speed is triggered. And when high speed is triggered, it's going to get full ground. And then this one also gets its full power. So then both fans will go on during high so speed. So it'll work in either condition, whether it's grounding one wire or two wires for high speed operation or both. Because what happens with both is if that low speed relay also clicks on, it's not going to short anything out, even though they do have a fuse for that, uh, type of scenario, and I've learned that uh, through trial and error, if let's say this relay is stuck closed on low speed and high speed operation is selected, this isn't gonna short it to ground because this would, this is gonna get full ground and then this is gonna go to battery. But with both high speed relays, as long as this one both works and that's why they have the fuse, this will be over, this will be just an open circuit and it'll work just fine if that relay stuck, sticks open for whatever reason. And if like one of these relays doesn't work um, or fuses are blown, because we all have them on separate fuses, at least one fan will work. So yeah, that's what I've been racking my brain over. So now I'm going to kind of change that setup and test it and show you the results that I can trigger a better high and low fan situation for these trucks using a Coyote truck flash or a Mustang so that you're covered and both fans will operate all the time, either on a low or high speed, whether both triggers or one are being pushed. So you get to go into the future. I got to change a little bit of wiring. Just like that, you guys get to skip all the BS I had to go through. So let me show you quickly what this mess really means. It's, uh, it can be a little daunting, but I'm glad I figured it out because this is a kind of more elegant way to uh, kind of wire it instead of a little less splices and jump right. around. So using my little diagram here as a reference, we have power. Although all, all the time it is fused, going directly into the motor. Now the low speed or however you want to control it, because these fans should be on, they're going to be operating the same speeds um, at the same time, but we'll call this motor one or low. Um, it's getting triggered through the ground of our mediator relay. And so, which is also split into the low speed relay. Now in low speed operation, Low speed only clicks its output fused into the always connected when this isn't energized um, slot or pin, if you will, and connects to the positive side of this motor, which then gives it ground because it's in series. Then when high speed operation, this clicks off, these two relays click on. So now this ground uh, from the motor one or low is getting its full ground to the actual ground. And of course this one is feeding the power to motor two or the high speed, which is already has its um, ground already always in place. So let's go test it. All right, brought our assembly back. 
Got the ground and positive hooked up. Low speed, with any luck. Nothing. All right, for whatever reason, um, I can hear my low speed relay clicking. Not getting any action, but, so I solved one problem by doing the highest stuff. We got high speed operation there and both fans running. Not quite sure why the low speed isn't working like it should. Please hold. All right, after reviewing the tapes, um, this is a little misleading because the power for this wire, or this wire needs to be on like the always feed side and these can be switched around. So what was happening was this was hooked over here and I had these two wires for the low, so it was never going through the motor. So I just had to switch these two wires around on the high relay. Let's go check it out. All right, moment of truth. Low speed trigger. Both fans kicking. And the high. Sick. These fans pack a lot of punch. Now, just to confirm my theory, I want to make sure when you do, if like, let's say the truck does trigger both um, relays. Still just goes into high speed. So we got low. And high. So yeah, this is, uh, again, a little crude. Oh, I just made this all for testing purposes and to make sure my theories all work. Uh, the actual product that I will sell for you guys doing this swap will be a lot cleaner. And I'm also going to do it in two parts. We're going to have the swap harness and this fan harness sold kind of separately. Um, so there'll be like an inline connector connecting to the harness, which is great because then it'll provide our all the time hot for the relays and it's fused. And then our trigger wires controlled by the computer obviously won't have this mess. It'll be nice and loomed so that um, I kind of made this separate. So in case someone wanted to just upgrade their uh, to electric fans and not do a coyote swap or don't care about doing a coyote swap, they can get this simple harness and it'll all just hook up to the battery. And, and then you'll have to figure out your own trigger wires, of course, and you're hot all the time, which isn't too much work to be honest yeah, we're uh, we're cruising the swap harness is done we gotta figure out our fans so i just need to actually test the harness and make sure it runs a motor which should be in the next video how i want to go about that so why don't you stick around hit that thumbs up please consider subscribing and uh, we'll see you next time